Has campaign violence gone viral? Those are the big questions this week after the ugliest two days of a dangerously angry White House race. Chicago Friday night, a Trump rally canceled after protesters clashed with Trump supporters. Date in Saturday afternoon. Trump startled when a protester storms the stage, look at the Secret Service circle round him fast, and overnight in Kansas City, police use pepper spray outside a Trump rally, arrest four. It's all after a week where a Trump supporter was arrested for cold cocking a protester. ABC's John Carl starts us off. One minute and 15 At Thursday's presidential debate in Florida, the Republican candidates were on their best behavior. I cannot believe how civil it's been up here. 24 hours later, the campaign entered an ugly and dangerous new phase. Protesters clashing with Trump supporters in Chicago, forcing the cancellation of a rally Friday night. And on the campaign trail Saturday, this frightening scene. As a protester attempted to charge at Donald Trump. I was ready for him, but it's much easier if the cops do it. Protests at Trump rallies are so commonplace, they've become as much a part of the show as his promise to build a wall. You know what they used to do to guys like that when they were in a place like this? They'd be carried out on a stretcher, folks. I'd like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. Knock the crap out of him, would you? Seriously. I will pay for the legal fees, I promise. In North Carolina this week, the world saw a Trump supporter do exactly what Donald Trump had called for, sucker punching a protester as he was being escorted out. Now Trump's rivals are openly accusing him of sowing the seeds of chaos and fomenting violence. The job of a true leader is not to stoke people's anger. Donald Trump has created a toxic environment. Encouraging violence is wrong, and that's why I've called it out. President Obama weighed in, too. Those who aspire to be our leaders should be trying to bring us together and not turning us against one another. Trump sure isn't backing down, blaming the chaos on professional rabble-rousers and supporters of Bernie Sanders. We just turned this to a Bernie we want to get along with everybody, but when they have organized, professionally staged wise guys, we've got to fight back. But as the campaign has taken its ugly turn, Trump's opponents are now wavering on their promise to support him if he wins the nomination. But do you so support him as a nominee if, he, if he's the nominee? I don't know. It's getting harder every day. And John Carl joins us now. Boy, John, you saw Senator Marco Ruby there look pretty shaken up yesterday when he was talking about this. And I think all of us are a bit taken aback. We haven't seen this kind of violence on the campaign trail since 1968. It's hard to look at what is happening now and not think of those images from Chicago in 1968 when you had violent crashes on the, clashes on the streets and you had disruptions right on the floor of the Democratic Convention. Now, George, I have been to Trump rallies all over the country, and it is important to say that the overwhelming majority of Trump supporters are entirely peaceful. The overwhelming majority of the protesters are entirely peaceful. But I have never seen a situation where you have the candidate himself from the podium encouraging, even condoning violence. Uh, as these protests grow bigger, grow more fervent, I fear that this could actually get worse. And what we don't know yet, John, is what impact this is going to have on the voting, those big states coming up on Tuesday. It's hard to say thousands of people have already voted in Florida and Ohio because of early voting. In the short run, this may actually help Trump as you have kind of a reaction against the protesters. But in all the contests, and nearly half the country has voted so far, uh, Trump has not gained a majority of Republicans. If he wants to win, he needs to unify Republicans. And of course, ultimately, he's going to have to go a long way towards unifying the country. That's not the direction this is going. Okay, John Carl, thanks very much.